All right, girls, we are starting our journey to Liechtenstein. Are you excited? Yeah. It's a new country. It's, I think, the sixth smallest country in the world. And it's connected somewhat to Switzerland, so we are allowed to cross into that border. So we're super excited. We're gonna have lots of fun, and we're gonna take you along for the ride. We just took how many trams? Two. Two, two trams to get to the main Basel train station and from here we're going to jump on a train and then a bus and we will be in Vaduz Liechtenstein. <laughs> so there's a playground on the train. How cool is this? There's a little slide. Go ahead Libby. We just got off the train and now we're on the bus to Vaduz. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. And we will be there soon. Woohoo! We made it to Liechtenstein. Are you guys so excited? Yeah. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah. It's a beautiful day. And up there is that Vaduz castle that we will see at some point on this journey. We made it to Vaduz. And what did we get for lunch, girls? Bagels. Are they so good? Yeah. We got bagels at the American Bagel and Coffee Co. And we haven't really been able to find them too much over here, so we are super excited. That was so nice. They came out, the yeah. bagel place, and gave us some yummy chocolate bars. Olivia, what kind of chocolate? White. White. We're getting our Liechtenstein stamp, yay, on our passports. And yay. they gave us really neat flags. Wow. What do you girls say? Thank you. Thanks. There's a neat little puzzle here for Olivia to put together of the different stamps. We are in the Treasury Museum. How would you guys like to wear that crown? I would love to. This is so cool. Emma, where are you? Really Emma, where are you? There's Emma and Olivia. We're at the Land Museum now, and we're gonna go and check it out. We are now in the Land Museum, all about Liechtenstein, and this is some of the old clothing that used to be worn. This is Peter Kaiser Platz, and the cathedral behind there is St. Florent Cathedral, and it's known for its yellow square path. about to go into the Alta Bruca, which is the oldest wood covered bridge that's surviving over the Rhine. And so this is the Rhine River right here, uh, where the mountain is across is Switzerland and we are in Liechtenstein. It's pretty beautiful. The surroundings are just incredible. Liechtenstein, this is so cool. So we just checked in into the first self check-in hotel that we've ever checked into. There's a nice breakfast room because breakfast is offered in the morning. And the name of the hotel is Hotel Overland in Treasonberg, Liechtenstein. And you walk in here and it looks like a normal check-in area but there's a whole check-in machine and I did it and it was very easy and a super nice process. We just checked into our hotel, Hotel Overland, which is a self check-in hotel. And we got this really nice room. There's a pull out couch, a dining table, a beautiful balcony that I'll take you out to in a second. There's also a bedroom in here. 
Very nice. A nice closet, some storage. And let's go outside and see the view. I mean, does it get honestly any better than this? Look at this amazing view. So we are in Liechtenstein. You can see the river down there. That's the river, the Rhine River. And then across those beautiful mountains back there, that is Switzerland. Unbelievable, so, absolutely gorgeous. I am seriously enjoying one of the most beautiful sunsets. The sun is going down in the Swiss mountains across the river and it is just absolutely gorgeous and I'm enjoying this from our balcony it's so beautiful did we have a good night in Lake Denshine yes, yes. yes. It was wonderful. good how is amazing is this view out here? It was, it was it's so, so pretty. So pretty, so isn't it? Amazing. Gorgeous. All right, we are off to breakfast downstairs. So we took the bus the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> and uh, we came up to the top of the mountain and now we have a 22 minute wait until the bus driver goes back down the mountain. This is the Red House and it was uh, built in 1338 and it is just so beautiful. They have a nice little vineyard, vineyard in the backyard and they have a beautiful view of the Du's Castle. So we came from the Red House right down there and these views are totally worth this hike up. We're almost there, we can see the castle and it looks beautiful and there's unbelievable views and the girls are being rock stars. Good job guys. Can't get pretty into the castle, but looking outside is just absolutely gorgeous. The Fadu's castle is first mentioned in documents dating back to 1322, and the castle came into ownership of the princely family in 1712. It's crazy how old it is, it's just beautiful. We just got off in the town of Balzars and we are going to go up to this beautiful castle called Gutenberg Castle and there's also a beautiful church and we came from that direction. We are about to walk up to the Gutenberg Castle and it's going to be tiring because we already walked up to the other castle, but I bet it'll be worth it. Olivia, how was the walk up to the castle? Um, tiring, but small, and it was good. It was good. We came from all the way down there, and we're about to go in. <laughs> Girls, do you feel like princesses at this castle? Do you want to be a princess? I think y'all are already princesses. What do you think? Yep. Look at this amazing view. It's so pretty up here. So we made it up and down to the castle and now the kids get to play at the playground. The Liechtenstein and Swiss Playgrounds are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at these views. The girls climbed up the slide. Let's see, Olivia, come on down. <laughs> there she is. Come on down, Good job. Emma. Thank you for watching.